by way of an example, let us consider this problem. We have a body 2. And that uh, body 2 has point A. That point A is moving with a certain alpha 2 and omega 2, which we do not know. Because that motion of body 2 is actually determined by body 3, which has omega 3 and the alpha 3, which is 0. If we have to consider that point, and if, we, if I have to translate you to uh, have a clearer explanation, that is point B. Let us call it point B. This is body 3, and that the slider is body 4. So in effect, we have point B in body 3 and point B in body 4. And that point B is coincident with point A. But point B now is moving along that uh, body 2. So if we have to consider and uh, have to determine alpha 2 and omega 2, we have to perform velocity and acceleration analysis. And acceleration analysis will involve Coriolis component of acceleration. Now, uh, let us proceed with uh, the solution. Very easily, we can draw this velocity of V being equal to omega 3 multiplied by O3V. By the way, that is O3 and that is O2. The axis of rotation of 3 and 2. And uh, with that, we can determine the relative velocity of uh, uh, B with respect to A and the velocity of A. With the, the vector here and the uh, uh, velocity polygon, this is uh, the velocity of B. That is the velocity of B with respect to A and that is the velocity of A. We can now proceed with our acceleration analysis given this velocity vector and from which we can determine omega 2. Omega 2 is equal to the velocity of A in the velocity of A over O to A. So uh, first let us consider the acceleration of point B in body 3. The acceleration of B normal is equal to the velocity of B squared over O3B and that is uh, directed towards O3. The acceleration of B tangential is equal to alpha 3 multiplied by O3B and that is equal to 0 in our case. Now that is on the left side of our equation, that is our acceleration of B normal equal to acceleration of uh, plus acceleration of B tangential, and we finished this already. We now go to the other side, and we now have acceleration of A normal plus the acceleration of A tangential plus the acceleration of B with respect to A normal plus the acceleration of B with respect to A tangential plus our Coriolis component of acceleration. Now uh, let us uh, proceed with the, the acceleration of A. Acceleration of A normal is determined by our velocity of A squared over O to A. And that, we know, is directed towards O2. But what about this one? We do not know this. In fact, 
we have to determine it. But we know that uh, it is uh, perpendicular to this line. So this, we know the, mag the direction, but we do not know the magnitude. But what about this one? Actually, this must be equal to zero. Why? This is the path of motion. This is the path along which B is moving. But this is a straight line. So B is moving along that path without change in direction. And uh, the normal velocity, or mean the uh, normal acceleration is just change in uh, the direction. So it is to be zero. But this, we know the direction. Again, we do not know the magnitude. But what about the Coriolis component of acceleration? Coriolis component of acceleration is given by 2 multiplied by our omega 2. And our omega 2 is already determined earlier. So we can put it here. And we know that uh, that is in the uh, uh, clockwise direction multiplied by the velocity of b with the respect to a. And that is our velocity of b with respect to a given by this vector here. So, if we know the magnitude, what is the direction? The direction is, it has to be perpendicular to this line, and uh, it's directed 90 degrees. from that uh, velocity, relative velocity. And knowing that alpha omega 2 is moving in the clockwise direction, the Coriolis component has to be along that direction. Now we can draw our acceleration polygon. We start with uh, the acceleration of B along that direction. That is the acceleration of B. The uh, acceleration of B tangential is zero, as we have earlier determined. So we start again with our O and uh, proceed with the acceleration of A normal. That we have determined to be this vector. The tangential, we do not know. This is zero. Another tangential component, which is of the relative acceleration of with respect to A, is not known, but it has to be along that path. So uh, we still have to determine it later. This Coriolis component of acceleration is this. So we can add it here. So uh, how do we close the polygon? We have two things to determine. We can now uh, determine, we can now put the uh, tangential component, this one, along this uh, dotted line. And we know that it has to close the whole polygon. And uh, the uh, tangential component of this angular acceleration has to be along that path. So we can know that that is that. And we now determine, how we are able to determine this vector and that vector. This vector is uh, our acceleration of A tangential. And from this, we can determine our alpha 2. 